some of the feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, yeah, let's get into Messy Monday. It's so much going on. What? I got oh, it. I'm like, why is this going fast? It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit for me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. Hi, August, we rapping you right on up, baby. Okay, you got this Literally. week and next week and you out here. Hello, somebody. But um, I want you all to take the time out right now to just hug yourself. Because baby, you made it. And we are speaking that into existence. I know it's not over yet, but words are a powerful thing. You made it, okay? Out of all the people that have passed away, the stress, the drama, depression, family, money, bills, just whatever it could possibly, job. Everything. Jobs, every, relationships. Everything, baby, you made it. You still here because you could have gave up a long time ago. You could have threw in the white towel a long time ago. You could have just threw your hands up and said, fuck it, a long time ago. But you didn't. You decided to wake up and continue to fight. And I am so proud of you, honey. I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but I'm telling you today that I am proud of you. All right, friends. So now it's time to get messy. Fuck all the sweet shit. Before we get into all that, let me give a shout out to my friend, and that is Lola Bun. Bitch. Lola Buns, I think I said it right. I thought it was Lula. Whatever. You was the first to comment on my Twitter page, and I greatly appreciate that. Um, I want to take the time out to just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for wanting to know what I got to say. Even if it's just to get on Messy Monday because you're trying to promote yourself, honey, I don't give a f I just love you for loving on me. So now we finna love on you. Everybody go over there and like her post. BJTV is back. On Instagram, y'all follow each other. Tag yo YouTube, yo Instagram. Y'all connect with each other. Whatever you do, go and do it. Because we are the Zonavi and the Zonavi is a team. And one thing we gonna do is stick together. All right, Lola, thank you so much. You're gonna forever be my friend, boo. Hey, bitch. Now, let's go on and get into it. But I just got to say this. There wasn't really a lot of mess. Y'all was actually really low-key this week. And I'm so thankful for that. So we finna fly through this. We gonna put the mess with the shit. All of it. Okay? So let's go on into y'all favorite part. The shit. The sugar honey iced tea. And talk about the docket. Because you girls love staying in some shit. First on the docket, we have Guy and Talia versus Lady. Now, baby, this is a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and it's really stupid if you ask me. Because y'all are fussing over who came up with just give me my money. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, as y'all know, Kai and Talil are popular streamers. They have now popularized a phrase that ain't even theirs, which is just give me my money. And everybody is saying it from streamers to YouTubers to TikTokers to celebrities, whatever the case may be. Give me my money. Just 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 give me my money. Yo. Yeah. yeah. The gag is Kai and Talil didn't come up with it. Lacey didn't come up with it. So I don't know why any of them is even arguing about the situation. BJT. Yeah. 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 But people who actually really came up with it ain't even saying nothing. They just want credit and that's it. Kai said he got it from the originator, which is Unlimited Pills. But then Lacey talked about he got it from Doug and B. Who came up with the first ever original Just Give Me My Money say? It wasn't Kai who came up with that. It was, it was Dougie B. Yes, Dougie B. came up. Wait, with wait, I might explain it. Saying, "Just give me my money." Kai said it on stream, and then me and Ron did the thing with clicks and face rug, where we were like, "Just give me my money." We clap for each other, and then we make the third person say it, and we just sit there and stay silent and make it hella awkward. No, no, no. I ain't gonna lie, this is so petty, but I get it. Oh, wait, let me explain it. No, no, I don't even, I don't even care. It's not even that deep, but look. Nigga, it's the first nigga. He's the first nigga to say, oh, oh, he's he's my money. Money. <laughs> that's, that's true. He's the first 
Just say it. Let me, hold on. Talil watched this video, seen it, started saying it more on stream. So I would say Talil popularized. Yes, it. that's what I would say. I never said I made it. Like I, I got never more said more popular. Made it. I feel like I popularized now, it. Now I see where both of them are coming from. Unlimited pills mm -hmm. is the one who actually came up with the phrase. Oh, just give me my money. <laughs> yeah, just give me my money. Okay. Just give me my money. Okay. Give me my money. And then I'm guessing Lucy, whatever, Lacey, whoever are the ones that came up with the sitting there as a group and then making somebody seem awkward. Okay, Ron. Senior okay, zero. Okay, okay, ready? I'll you have to do it. You have to do it. Listen, 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 buddy. Just give me my money. <laughs> just give me my money. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. Just give me my money. Yo, is the silence gonna be that long, guys? My bad, so I was just like... Mm. That's how I got the conversation. Kai is basically saying they got the phrase from Unlimited Peel, but... Duke replied to what? Then Lacey is saying the sway is set up and the clapping came from him and Dougie B. Who? I don't know, honey. Whatever the case may be. Oh, well. We really fussing over a phrase. Y'all kill me. Shut the fuck up. There's more things. People are dying, Kim. Kim, there's people that are dying. There's people that are dying. Whatever you sent me, it ain't that. All right. If it ain't about me, just give me my money. <laughs> Next it. Next to the duck at, we have Queen. So Queen just came out with a new song, and baby, it got everybody talking because of the lyrics. I just don't understand why they playing it. Um, okay. Girl know how to market, and when she markets, she get the girls talking. So now everybody up in cahoots, and they're like, well, girl, is she talking about lyrics? What's going on? Are they having problems at home? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cause remember when she came out that song, Karma? It was my crib. Everybody know Queen ain't never scared to bite her tongue. So child, I don't know, but I ain't stupid because you know, I do YouTube, so I know when the girl's trying to up themselves. So anyway, a commenter had hit her with a, with a reverse card because she came out and she said, send this to a good friend that is fed up. And mind you, it had her sing the song lyrics. So somebody said, baby, we sending it to you. <laughs> and I was and that's what Queen did. Queen responded and said, oh. I know you lied. So, child, everybody started kicking and clackling. And I'm just like, y'all don't see what Queen doing. Queen is really marketing her song. The more that y'all talk about this. We do it every time. And it works every time. I'll tweet the song out and you talk about the song. It makes people go listen to the song. So, really, she knew what she was doing when she did this. It was going to make an uproar of damn if she not happy at home. But really, child... <laughs> They over there reading y'all comments at the same time, laughing at everything y'all say and getting to the bag. Now, even if Literally. it is something, oh well, we gotta wait until we actually got some hard evidence. Y'all want her to get married so bad. If gag is, if, what if they secretly married and y'all just don't know it? Because it's her brand to make up these breakup songs and have y'all talking like she ain't married. Because if she get married, what is it to talk about? Because they ain't in drama. He don't treat her wrong. She don't treat him wrong. They ain't cheating on each other. They got a happy family. So what else is there to talk about? I mean, granted her music, yes. But the thing is, y'all be so invested about her getting married and him not doing shit. Corey live on someone else's Facebook right now. What's the Facebook? What's the Facebook name? Send the link. I'll ride that out too, baby. Well, if it ain't about me. Anything, Corey, send it. He still ain't gave her no ring. <laughs> Did that rhyme? Next cat. Next to the duck cat, we have Sky Jackson. <laughs> Sky, you is something else, girl. I knew you was gonna get off, child. I knew you was gonna get off. That, that judge probably saw you walk up in there and said, now how the hell did this four foot five girl beat this one up? Y'all be sleeping on this one. I'm telling y'all that woman is, she like that little leprechaun in that movie who just be terrorizing everybody. I'm a leprechaun, me dear. But, hey, let her off. They said that they didn't have enough evidence. But girl, if you ask me, didn't they say they have video footage of her pushing and shoving on the boy? He was talking That's about That's the last thing I I don't care if she thumped his forehead. Bitch, I'm hurt. How y'all tell me what hurt me? Every time it comes to a man, y'all don't take it serious because she little. I don't get no 
A fist is a fist and the shit hurt. I ain't saying she hit him or nothing like that. But, I mean, they said they had video evidence. Now they talk about they don't have enough evidence. Bitch, if it's on the video, it's on the video. Gag is what I kept reading. It said that he didn't want to cooperate. Scott was got them heels. <laughs> Y'all thinking she's innocent. Scott, y'all forgot. Did Scott plug in, baby? Scott. <laughs> and then that boy said, ooh, that's his coin. So, you know, I think he's like an inspiring rapper or something like that. And so he like, damn, this is gonna be my platform, this is gonna be my girl, my my money, this gonna put me on child support. So he like, look, let me just get right. Same way some of y'all women, y'all be having these men, y'all just like, you know what, I gotta go back and pay these bills by myself. Woo, woo, it's gonna be hard. Let me just get right and deal with it. Men go through the same thing too. I don't know, I know y'all saying she can't hurt him, but baby, I done seen some short women turn the fuck up. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Y'all say she ain't do it. She ain't do it. They ain't got no evidence. Child, she over there. <laughs> they over there playing wild and out. He pleaded the fifth. Bitch, get up. <laughs> get up and tell your story. All right, well. <laughs> if it ain't about me, Scott got that man looking like a pussy. <laughs> Next case. Next for the dog cat. <laughs> we got. Happened, I completely missed it. Yeah, uh, you know it's good. Chris, Chris, you need to burn it. You wait, need wait, to wait. Burn it. Chris said, "Little baby, Chris owe him money." <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> what did he? What happened? <laughs> Chris, you need to burn it. Him. Chris is stupid. I know it's a joke, but I, I know it's a joke. <laughs> but I think. <laughs> Wait, I need to hear it. <laughs> I know it's a joke, but I, I believe Chris, Chris for real. So Chris, oh God, Jesus, help him. So Chris, so little Chris went to his daddy and he told his daddy that he needed some money. And Chris was like, well, what you need the money for? So the little boy told his daddy he needed some money for something. What if this high goes? Let me know if I'm wrong for this. Like that. So my son, y'all know, I don't know, some of y'all may be familiar with my son, Chris. But like he getting older to a point where he keep asking me for money, which is cool. Sunday he asked me for some money, right? For V-Bucks and whatnot, right? So you ain't doing nothing. This is my son. He said, hey daddy, can I get some money for V-Bucks? Now I was gonna send it to him, but the part that got me, he said, I'm gonna pay you back. And in my mind, I'm like, how you gonna pay me back? You don't work, you you play the game all day, you sit at home, you go to school, you come back. So how you gonna pay me back? But I, I just looked it over, like I, so I sent him the bread. So then I text him today, right? I'm like, what you doing? He like, nothing much. How about you? So in my head, I'm like, okay, he ain't think about my money. So I text him like, yo, where my money at? You feel me? Because he said he was going to pay me back. No, this is money. He said, oh, yeah, about that. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah, about that. So I'm looking at my phone. So I'm like, LOL, if you don't have my money in two days, I'm going to have to come find you. Like, I'm not playing. Like... First of all, anybody who owe me money, I'm not, no, this I'm not is funny. giving out money no more. Cause motherfuckers a, a give you money. I mean, you would lend out money, and then they get mad when you ask for it back. Like I'm confused. So then, bro, go say so. Don't you have a million dollars? And I don't care how much money I have. <laughs> if I give you some money, pay me back. That's all I want. You feel me? Like so. Then I said to the voice, and I'm like, bro, I don't care about how much money I got. You I don't understand why Baby CJ would say he'll pay him back in the first place. I don't even understand. Why the hell that came out his mouth? Give me back, twin. Like, that's all you got to do. He's going to say some, he, he, he. Okay, I'll get a bank account and pay you. So am I wrong for, like, asking for my money back? Nah. Like, let me know. I don't care how much. Nah, he ain't wrong because baby CJ shouldn't have never said, I'll pay you back. It was. Like, but if you say you're going to pay me back, That's some shit I would have did to my kids. Say kids, mom, dad, family members. Like, I need my bread back. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of people. Borrowing money and not giving it back. Next, Chris, we understand you joking with your child. You trying to teach him how to pay his, how to pay his debt. <laughs> but, but <laughs> should you be, <laughs> should you be taking your own advice? You, I mean, I 
understand you done made your only band so you can go out and pay these debts off, but you be playing the game too. <laughs> <laughs> Job. Right. Like, you know, just wash the dishes, vacuum the floor. Oh, don't be want to wash them dishes. Do something. I mean, don't be like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I love your daddy with all my heart, but I had to leave him like Queen did too, and that went and got me Corey, but now Corey acting up, and I gotta leave that too. Everything's just acting Yo, up. Yo, stop. Point, I don't even, I don't need a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't need a YouTuber. But all right, I mean, y'all handle it. You pay your daddy. I don't care if I got a million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars. If I want my money, give me my, my money. money. <laughs> okay. Just Man give me my me. money. Next kid. Next on the ducket, we have Lane. Now, girl, Lane done found herself back in the hot seat because every time she speak on Neat and what Neat do, the good universe and karma come back in. Knock on her door and make her swallow her word. King don't communicate. First of all, I just want to say this before they get into them. King went out there like the Ninja Turtle he is and won his fight. Yes, he did. And I'm assuming this is his first pro fight. Okay. Y'all gonna leave King alone. All right. Knock that nigga out. Clean out. Call it. <laughs> oh, you hear me? Y'all gonna leave my friend alone. I put fire emojis in his, in his chat. He go, this nigga gonna message me back with the ninja sign. <laughs> like I like I said he was a fucking ninja. Look y'all, look what y'all doing. I'm looking at everybody else's shit. He didn't put a ninja sign with nobody else but me. I did not call you a ninja, King. However, though. <laughs> Ninja out. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about he kicked cut clean in the neck. Shoot that. Nigga was sleep. I wouldn't want King size 14 on my neck neither. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. Let me tell y'all something. He Ninja Turtles his way to the top, and he going to keep going. Shout out to King. <laughs> Shout out to King. I am happy for that man. He did what he needed to do. Okay. I leave my friend alone, like I said. With you because you don't be with Kaiser. King communicates with Jacinda because Jacinda is the one that takes care of Kaiser. When I said that she doesn't have Kaiser 24 7, that was a fact. That was a fact. Like, that was not me degrading her as a mother. I never said, like, you're a horrible mom. You don't do nothing for Kaiser. You're a deadbeat. Like, I did not, not one of those things came out my mouth at all. I said one thing, she's not with Kaiser 24 seven. So that's why she didn't know about the conversation that King and Jacinda had. Uh, Lena, you knew you was being shady. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if y'all remember last time they had a big old argument about the situation. Lena was talking about me and saying, oh, you don't ever watch your kids. You want to be across town doing this and doing that and going on vacations, but you got your mama watching your son. Mind you that it's her grandson. If I want to watch my grandchild, I can watch my grandchild. You know what I'm saying? If I'm over here doing this, and mind you, her grandson was staying at the mama house because I think it was something about being in school and he was going to school there, but then after that, he was going to end up staying with his mama knee. Whatever, it's been a couple of months. I can't remember right off the bat. So now her and King are in Thailand doing God knows what. I don't know what they're doing, but they out there and they extended their stay. And now she getting a nanny in Thailand that she don't even know. But you over here bumping your gums about me having her own mama watch her grandson. Make it make sense. You know, I've seen a lot of people, it's like a very controversial topic. Oh yeah, and somebody you... sent to me that um, Tea Room used my, my video. Y'all, we using each other's videos. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. It ain't no beef with the, with the tea pages. I, and, and let me also put this out. I ain't beefing with a soul. Not one. I am pescatarian, baby. I don't beef. Okay? So I just also want to put that out there. Ain't no beef with me. I'm not beefing with nobody. Okay? But these, the T-pages that I rock with, 
We share shit. <laughs> what you need? Oh, girl, he went live today. Boom, here go to live. <laughs> you want to take mine? Take it. I don't give a damn. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to put that out there. Stop putting me in beef with, I ain't no beef. I am pescatarian, baby. Ain't nothing not, not with me, nothing. I don't have a problem with a soul. You hear me? I just want to put that you out there. Say it, like, oh, I wouldn't trust my baby with somebody in a foreign country and so much trafficking that happens and stuff like that. But I'm from Texas. I'm not from Texas. I live in Houston, Texas. The highest rate of child trafficking, human trafficking, is in Houston, Texas. Texas is top, like in the top 10 for school shootings. Like, regardless, wherever you go, there's danger everywhere. People drop off their kid. <clears throat> Personally, me, I would rather hire a nanny to attend to just my two children than drop my kid off at a daycare where it's one teacher to six kids. Or when they go to school, it's one teacher to 26 kids. Your kid is not getting that full attention. Your kid is not getting that, like, you know, that full time. Eh. But I did my research. Before I got a nanny, I have all her, you know, certifications. Chrissy, this is a good video. Identifications, like I have everything I need to know to make sure that I feel safe and secure with leaving my children with the nanny. You don't know this lady from a can of paint. I'm not letting nobody out of the country. Damn near in the country at this point. Watch my children. But you over talking about some Oh, that's, that's your, uh, wait, fuck? Chrissy, that's your video? Texas gotta do it. You in Thailand. You don't know that damn lady. Ain't never been. I done did my research. You ain't get a goddamn. Yes. Zari and Chrissy. Y'all about to be on payroll. I just want y'all to know that. But yes. Y'all about to be on payroll. Yes. Payroll. Text me now. Yes. Y'all about to be on payroll. <clears throat> yes, though. Yes. Y'all ain't gonna better learn how to run two pages at a time because you're gonna be running mine. Yes. Mmm. About to be on payroll. I'm not playing either. Text my phone. But what the word on the curb is, they saying, child, she just trying to be like me because Dwayne work overseas and then you want to be overseas with you and King, but girl, the reason you got that nanny because you want to make sure he ain't out there doing something he ain't got no business doing. Because what the hell you so busy in Thailand doing that you need a nanny? That your child can't be in a little packet sack and you ride and you run The around. only money I'm missing is shorts. Shorts is going to lead me right to my mansion. Right to my, my, my motherfucking, yeah, to that place. Okay? I'm going to be debt free. Let me to my mansion and stuff. So, Zari. Chrissy? Like I said. Don't get me to lie. I don't know what's going on. Every time she says something about this woman, me, it come back and hit her. Somebody said they happy they see her. <laughs> It ain't about me. She hired somebody she don't know to be a nanny. <coughs> Next game. Next to the Not y'all trying to learn how to do shorts and I just gave y'all the sauce the other day and Chrissy and Zari used it and not the rest of y'all. I just gave y'all the sauce the other day. Free game. What do I know? We got Corey versus Matt. Now, baby, this is a whole, a whole lot of... I'm starting to see the real picture now. Now, I know y'all get mad at me when I say this, because y'all think I'm going to have Corey back, but if you really stop and you step back and you look at everything, this ain't got shit to do with me and no damn Corey. Maddie is crazy. Maddie is... She was really in love with Corey. She fell in love. She probably is a hopeless romantic. It didn't go the way she thought it was, because Corey really wasn't trying to make no relationship Corey is an opportunist, and when Corey sees an opportunity, he makes his way to get it. Manny is a viral social media manager, whatever the case may be. Corey thought music. He thought this. How can I go viral? Y'all know Corey loved to do a little viral moment. And he got in there, manipulated that woman, festered with her heart, boom, left. Granted, getting a woman pregnant and leaving her, that's fucked up. Maybe Corey got caught in a moment. Y'all know Maddie was cooking for him, doing this, doing that. So she poured her heart out for this man. And this man don't really want you. He want what you could offer him. Corey packed it up. He left it. She gagged. 
because now she thinking, oh my God, I thought I came in here, I saved this man, that's why she was attacking damn Carmen, she was being another red bone, didn't work for her, she was being another girl that was dating Rick Ross, how she was doing them, um, pretty me and them. Yes, he's absolutely, y'all, if y'all don't know that Corey's an opportunist, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm gonna let y'all know right now, this is why I don't reach out to nobody to do no interview. I hate to say I don't want y'all to be mad at me because y'all think I'm going to be biased. Girl, when I did the video with Queen and Clarence, I knew then, and after a couple more uh, collabs, I knew then I'm done with them. Do not be over here thinking that I'm taking somebody's side because we cool. Because wrong is wrong for me. You know what I'm saying? And in this case, I'm not going to lie, Maddie is dead ass wrong in a lot of areas. Dead ass wrong. But what Maddie is doing is exposing all the shit Corey did to Carmen. And that's why Maddie is winning in this case. Now, we all know that Maddie is a damn thief at this point, right? I don't want to talk to Maddie. I don't want to talk to Corey. I don't want to talk to none of y'all. Because I don't want anybody to think that I'm cool with you and I'm not going to say my piece. Because I'm going to tell it all, nigga. Okay? Um, so with that being said, I learned my lesson real, real early. Right? i never forget I did that video with Queen of Clarence. I get back and all y'all was like, not y'all, but you know, all the people was like, yeah, you just about to be biased. Oh, you biased because you know something. Just because you're with people for a little, a certain amount of time don't mean you know shit. You don't know anything. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I know, two things for sure, y'all ain't trying to be my friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These niggas is not trying to be your friend. So, um, although Corey and Zoe, I feel like are close. You know, don't get me wrong. I think they are close. Um, but you got to say shit like that. Fuck that. Don't nobody want to be my friend and that's okay. So with that being said, I'm just letting y'all know. I, I'm just happy that <laughs> I ain't got to go through that shit right there. It is not for me. I don't like the feeling of y'all thinking that I'm hiding some shit when you think I care that much. You get what I'm saying? Don't ever think I care that much. Please. I don't. It, it, hell no. Nah. Because the truth is the truth. Somebody going to tell the truth about me. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to put that out there. These men don't give a fuck about you. You just a temporary replacement until they get you where the fuck they want to go, baby. That's why you never come in and talk down on the one that was there with that man for a long time. Because that woman really know that. Chrissy and Zari, we having a meeting tonight. I ain't playing either. Y'all bitches done walking into the lion's den. It's your fault. It's y'all fault. You've been there for three months, baby. So, anyway... Maddie fell in love with that man too soon. Baby, you got a tattoo. Did Corey get your name? He has my name on his leg, y'all. So can you guys ask him when he's like when he's when is he gonna cover up my name? Okay, so Maddie said Corey got her name tatted. Whatever the case may be, I feel Corey is just playing his part. I'm not saying Corey didn't have some type of emotions toward this girl, but I do believe there is somebody who was more in love with the it's other in this situation. Right. Okay, look at Maddie, you can just tell by the mannerisms, the way she's acting. This girl is actually really hurt. She is hurting. And this woman is doing any and everything to make Corey's life miserable because she really wants to be with him. And she she don't even care. She's she's talking down on him. But if Corey says he wants to be back with her, Maddie will go back. I'm telling y'all, she will go back. Now, what I didn't like is everybody was trying to make Maddie look stupid. At this point, they all lying. But I can clear up Corman. Corman never said she didn't respond to Maddie. It was one of the blog sites that made it seem as though Corman said she didn't speak to that girl. Yeah, yeah I right agree with there. that. Well, why did Corman lie? I, mean, I now, agree with that. Because that right there was Cap. Somebody took her tweet and made it something else. That's the internet. Y'all know better. God. Go ahead. Oh, whatever the case may be. But she was trying to make it sound they was over there having some girl on girl conversation and she was really helping Maddie. No, baby. Corman said, this your story. It's your time. You ride it out. And then on top of that, you got Corey showing messages saying that you want to get back with him. But then you're on live showing text messages that Carmen was right about him pulling a out on her. Why would you want to keep texting a dude that you want to get back with him and make the family work if this is the case? Maddie's very manipulating too. She know how to play her cards right to make y'all think something's what it is and it really what it ain't. Anyway, let's keep going. So me and Corey, we was on live. We was kicking whatever the case may be. Maddie was on her TikTok. Maddie then joins Corey's live and this is what happened. First thing I'm going to address and I'm going to address her into this. Uh-huh. 
Because y'all know I seen all that. Corey, hold on, CJ. Come on, Poppy. I got you. Listen. I got you right now. When I lose you, listen. 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 So with that being said, I don't, I don't even feel really care to talk about that part. That part. No, like, no, you try to, nah, 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 you try to, nah, listen, fuck about it, nah, don't let us go, man, hold on, man, man, I don't, hold on, hold on, let's go, do me a favor, do me a favor, do me a favor, do me a favor, calm down, give me a call, no, 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 calm down. So you didn't take a video of the pregnancy test of her taking it Hell for a documentary. No. Listen, fuck all that, Zoe. Corey, don't be lying. Don't be lying strong and then it come out and she put in that video now. Man, I'm, I, this, she ain't put out a video yet. I don't understand. Girl told me she was pregnant when I was in Alabama, so. Okay, no, but did you record no it on FaceTime like she said? No, I'm telling you, y'all are going to... Okay, okay, so, that's, right, fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You said no, that's fine, that's fine. Now, Danny, Danny, let me hush, Corey. Danny, 
So when those pictures, when you put on your story on Instagram, you made it seem like Let's go, when she uh, reached out, you didn't respond. Let's go, when Zara. she just showed us, y'all was talking. What's that about? I didn't say I didn't respond. I said she reached out to me first because that's what she said. She said I reached out to her first. Ooh, I was it, showing that everybody got a lot going on. Oh, the Lord, Jesus, this shit. So the moral of those. But I, I, I know that, but how, but how it was first. played for social media made it seem like she was just the Lulu, and she wrote you, and you said nothing to her. That's how we took it as the consumers. Well, that's, that's just how y'all took it. Y'all should have asked me, did I respond? Girl, I we, we ain't gonna do all that if that's how you, however you present your plate, that's how we gonna eat it. My thing. She was trying to make a thing like she texted me first. I didn't even know this girl and so, knew Corey two days. <laughs> that like, we reached out to Corey for a fucking promo. All of a sudden, Georgia numbers start blowing up my phone. So, 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 hold on. Wait, stop, 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 stop talking, though. Listen, I'm so, I'm so confused. Yeah. Why? I know why I you want me to stop talking. Danny, you made it seem like this girl hit you up and you said nothing. She showed us that y'all was having a whole blown out conversation. And then they go, Danny talking about some, well, I didn't say that I didn't talk to her. Girl, how you tweeted it, how you delivered the plate is what we got. You made us think you didn't speak to that girl and that girl was only talking to herself. You spoke to that girl. You talk to that girl. Even if it was on, girl, I don't know what's going on. I don't go with Corey. Me and Corey got nothing going on. The point is, mama, you talked to her. You made us believe you didn't even talk to that girl. So now that's what's making shit look stupid. Like, everybody just out here lying. And, and now you over there kissing her and shit. Like, come on. She really is, man. I get why she's stressing out like this. This man, I probably told her, oh, I want you to have my baby. I want to have a family with you. Girl, this man is just telling you things you want to hear. At that moment in time, him and Karma were going, they were at the peak of their breakup in their relationship. So he was doing any and everything to make Carmen upset. He was doing anything to piss that girl off, to ruffle her feathers. And girl, you was just that girl. You was just that girl. And when that didn't work, guess what? Carmen came out with Big Boogie. Big Boogie got money. Big Boogie doing his thing. And Big Boogie is bigger than you. So what did Corey have to do? Corey had to step it up. And where is he now? With a million. Multi. Multi. A girl who run a company. Knees. Knees. Companies. Living a big million dollar house. Not an apartment. Not a lot. Talk about it. Tell her. Tell her now. So now Corey over there. Corey don't need you no more, baby. You, play, you played your part. You and did. when he saw that didn't fuck with Carmen, he had to go somewhere else. You get what I'm saying? You Am I reacting to Queen of Clarence video? No. What I mean, what is it about? Probably not. You know what I mean? And now you heard. We already heard these stories about Corey saying, oh, it's just my manager. It's just this. It's just that. He did that with Carmen. It's just a uh, SSG girl. It's just a rapper. It's just... Girl, we know that. We knew that. We tried to tell you, baby. You didn't want to listen to nobody. And now, no. Corey over there about to run those pockets. But if they smart, they'll just be business partners and not let a relationship and sex fuck what they doing up. And they'll make that money. So let's rewind it back Hello. just a little bit. So then, Maddie tried to show that she was over there talking to Precious. Y'all remember, Precious was Corey's assistant that he was fucking with, too. I tried to tell y'all, but y'all didn't want to listen to me. I knew it. I, I said, y'all ain't fucking. I told y'all too. Ain't no way, Corey, around a beautiful woman and not sliding up in that. Yeah, no. Any girl that Corey get around, and if she's beautiful, Corey fucking. He fucking that's Corey. Y'all know Corey is a ladies' man. He fucking um. So anyway, she tried to show the messages between her and Precious like Corey did try to abuse her, and she knew what she was doing when she showed that gun situation. But she covered up what she's saying. I don't think Corey had pulled the gun because when Ma when Precious said, well, where's the gun? She said, I don't know. Maddie was trying to spin it like Corey was using the gun on her. No, remember Maddie said Corey was suicidal. I think they were in an argument or whatever the case may be and Corey was going through something and that's when Corey was talking about he wanted to kill himself and she said, well, where's the gun? She said, I don't know. And she said, well, oh, we just got to pray that everything's up. They were talking about Corey killing himself, not Corey wanting to use that gun on her. She didn't say that he was trying to use the gun on her. What she said was he threw the gun in between them two. 
as if he like, you man, go ahead and do it for me. I believe Maddie in that situation. I believe him. Look at that stuff and read between the lines. But like Precious said, Precious said, you know what? I'm not in it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. It is what it is. Because at the end of the day, Precious don't really hate Corey. Precious knew her. You better not use that emotional depression shit with that millionaire over there. Place and ran her race. That's what it was. Precious already knew that she was over there doing her deal and dabbing when he was with Corman. So, girl, you really can't say that you hurt her because Corey can turn around and say, well, baby, you was fucking with me when I was fucking with Corman. Your rag ain't clean either. So that's why she said I bowed out gracefully and I didn't say nothing because, girl, you really was the other girl. So, anyway, so now man is talking about some, oh, I'm closing my close friends because people leaking stuff. Bitch, what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? You over here spilling tea and you thought people weren't gonna pour it out? Bitch, is you okay. crazy? They gonna give us the lemon and the squeezes. We need it. Why don't you post some close friends? Um, yesterday was a really hard day for me. I was completely out of it. However, I am no longer posting close friends. I took everybody out and that era is completely over because something was leaked that I specifically like begged and begged and begged. I even prayed to God that it wouldn't be leaked. So I don't want anything to do with the whole close friends narrative. I am cool off of it. Those are the rules. I said if something is leaked, if I get hate, any of that stuff, just, and I kept, I gave motherfuckers Three chances, three times things got leaked, and I kept saying like, "All right, all right, all right, all right," and then I said, "You know what? I can't do this." Get them motherfuckers don't know you. They don't give a fuck about you, and what the hell you telling them do and don't do, bitches? You dumb and you stupid. Slow and crazy, all of them. Cause uh, you actually thought a thousand people you have no, never met in your life don't know was gonna be like, "Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep it." This. Are you crazy? <laughs> Girl, we want the mess. And she Hello. already knew people were gonna leak that shit out. That's why you made the shit. You wanna make somebody look bad because you want your man to come back home. Maddie ain't dumb. Maddie charged y'all $20 to get in there. And there was over a thousand people in there. 20 times a thousand is 20,000 fucking dollars. Hello. Y'all stupid. Y'all got that girl. Rich in a second. Then the, hold on, so don't forget because you ain't even seen it yet. She was taking core money too. Yay. <laughs> she wanted them. Mm -hmm. Go on walk out. I'll see you at the chair in a minute. Motherfucking stupid. <laughs> Big Bang Daddy. Her and Corey smart. They smart. That 10000 that Corey sent, um, Corey sent her, that was her money. They promo on what her and what Danny and Corey doing. They are monetizing off of this drama. Mind you, Corey was supposed to promo her peach cobbler place, but it fucked up because now what's the name thought they was over there fucking, which I still think they fucking. Definitely think they fucking. But since that promo situation didn't work, guess what they doing? Oh, shit, the mess. Let's talk about it. Every time the mess pop up, you go to Corey's story. Peach cobbler. When they on live, all the fans watching. Peach cobbler. That's when you plug it. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Now what you do? You said, oh, I'm sending her $10,000. After you send her $10,000, what do you do? Post. Peach cobbler. Then you go live. Everybody watching. Guess what? Danny and her. Peach cobbler. Now I'm going to ask her to kiss her because, oh, that's going to get the stream recorded. And guess what we going to do? Well, I don't, I don't, how about you put that $10,000 and $2,000, whatever thousand dollars, to your peach cobbler. They Hello. know what they're doing. They is pushing that. He's so if, 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 I, if I send you another 10,000, you, you, I took you on a date? A real date? Because they don't understand that the, the, when we went out, there was like a business meeting. We were talking about business and we just said chill. I already told them about that was a promo. They don't believe oh, it, but okay, anyway. Okay, so if I send you another 10,000, I click if, your, I, Yeah, you send me another $10,000, that'll be, that'll be $20,500 in one day. Yeah. I don't even think that's his money. I think it's hers, but yeah. We, uh, we going on a date. And you can post it on your page and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I remember the Danny, Danny. As a matter of fact, and then I'll give you a kiss on live. Right now. Yeah, you, if you send me another 10,500. On the lips or the cheek? On the lip. You lying, I'm telling you that. I'm lip, telling you. The lip, the lip, the sex is here. Hold on, hold on. All right, bitch. I'm telling you. The, the tax boss, right? Y'all know how old she is? Danny, the tank boss. All right, hold on. So, hold, hold, hold. So, y'all, y'all heard she said, she said, if I send her 10,500, I get a kiss on live. All right, hold on. I'm going to go ahead. So, so, do y'all want me to hold do on. that? Hold, hold, hold on. Hey, look, look. That, go to your cash right now. That 10,500 right now. That, that 10,500 right now. 
That's another, that's another, that's 20, that's 20, that's 20 dollars away there, 20,500. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, I get some. I get some. I get some water. Hey, just a little bit. I just want to do with my little. You get the water. You still want to keep? I want to keep. Oh my God! 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 You gotta stop thinking that you don't know. You know, you know, you know. We don't have to keep watching this. I, I don't even want to torture us with that again. No, you can, <laughs> Let's you watch our lips off. Let me show how I kiss real friends. No. Now I don't know if y'all gonna buy the peach. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But I'm going to Peach Cobbler Cafe and I'm gonna make a vlog that day. I just want y'all to see my vlog, quite frankly. But yeah, I'm definitely. It's a Peach Cobbler um factory near. So yeah. That name is getting out there, Diddy and that. Peach cobbler. But gag is they fucking too. They fucking. Ain't no man finna live up in my house. Be in my house all day, every day, and you drive in my car. I don't go, you ain't fucked me not one time. Even ate my little poo poo. And you in my house? She rents the cars out in her defense. Walk around with your shirt off, bringing all this drama in my shit, got my name in bullshit. And I ain't getting no dick. Oh, bitch, you got me. Oh, bitch, you got me fucked up. You better be paying me some rent, some something, paying a light bill, some stuff. You ain't doing shit and you in my shit. They fucking. <laughs> and that's why man and man. She thought she was finna get this man a family and she was turning him around. She was doing all this building, building, building. And girl, you got built up just to get let down. Oh. My God. All right. Well. Sorry, boo. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it scared. All right, you guys, that is all I have for- If I would've said any of that shit, any of that shit, and we was friends, we would no longer be friends. But, I am Zoe's not expendable. Yeah, I am right now. He is not. But, that's just crazy. Zoe can say anything, though. When I met him, that was one of the best conversations I ever had with that nigga because he don't care. And he will tell you, though, I do not care. Him as a Gemini, love it. But yes, Zoe can say whatever he please. But man, yeah, y'all, listen, I believe everything Zoe just said, that's what I believe. Okay? Um, but that's it, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.